Hello guys! In the previous tutorial, I showed you how to create your first project and your first entity. If you missed that, I suggest for you to have a look at the description below. You'll find all the tutorial video links. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the Visual Builder. So, let's log in now. As you can see here, our project is still there and ready to be connected to our Fire GUI Builder. Click on Connect Project and see what happens. Click on Open Client to check what we've done until now. Okay, perfect. As you can see, the left form is a little bit ugly, in particular for the WYSIWYG editor. It's too small and you'll probably want it to be larger than this. Also, we're going to change the look of this table. Let's see how. Okay, go back to the Fire GUI Builder and click on Visual Builder. Remember, this Visual Builder allows you to modify all layouts, tables, forms, buttons, etc. without spending any time writing code or programming anything. So, as you can see, this is a little preview of your client. We can call this a kind of mock-up page. Uh, click on Events to open the corresponding layout. First of all, I want to change the icon of the left menu, so click here and go to Icon and write Far Far Calendar. If you're not familiar with the fontawesome.com library, you can click this link to find the correct label of the icon you want to use. For example, in my case, uh, I would search calendar and choose one of these icons, okay? Now let's go back and save changes. We can now proceed to the next step. Supposing we want this layout to be completely different, let's see what else we can do with this builder. I want the table with the events list to be full width and uh, under my form. Just click here and we're done. Now it's time to beautify the form by changing and moving elements. So let's click on Form Builder here. A pop-up will open with a representation of our events form. From here, as we've done before, I can click here to adjust the width of this field. We can also drag elements to change the order. So I put the dates uh, here. Perfect. Remember that you can also click on this and see more options to modify other parameters, such as show label, override label, placeholder text, force the field to be required or not, etc, etc. But for now, let's just override the label and call this start date. You can also change the type of the field, the default value, and many other options. Okay, now let's close this and proceed to the next step. Now, as for the form, yeah, I want to beautify the events table. Click on Table Builder to edit columns. As you can see here, we can rename a column. So, start date here and delete this column and drag the start date column between uh, title and description. From here, you can also drag elements into the table to add more columns if needed. Really easy and simple to use, isn't it? Okay, let's close this and see how our client has changed. Okay, now it looks better, but I want to do more, such as uh, open this form in a modal pop-up. Add a simple button on the top to create new events. So let's go back to the Visual Builder and proceed. Let me first rename this form to New Edit Event. 
and save. First of all, remove this form from here. Okay, and click on add new elements in this toolbar, uh, then menu group and create a new menu group. Let's type new event, uh, choose type open in modal form, select new edit event form here and here I type BTN primary. Remember that the client is based on Bootstrap. If you're not familiar with that, I suggest you check it out on getbootstrap.com. Okay, now I choose the plus icon and save changes. Let's see how it looks now. Good. Now we have this new button here and okay, now the form is opening in modal and it's more usable, don't you think? Okay, let's do some more adjustments. Okay. Now, as you noticed, this table has no edit button on it. So how to add it? I'll show you how to create it. So go back to the visual builder and click on options here, then Click on create a new action. Type edit event here. Choose edit form. Uh, modal would be okay. Which form? This one. The same we used before for the new event button. Now I choose the color and save. And that's it. Good. Now let's try to edit an event. Good. And uh, try creating a new event here. Appointments. 27th of March as the start date and a description as well. Save. Perfect. Now we have our simple event manager working and it looks pretty good. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you find it useful and easy to understand. In the next lesson, I will show you how you can manage different types of data visualization. Not only tables, but also calendars, maps, charts, and even more. So, click on the subscribe button and the bell below, and feel free to ask comments if you need help. All links are in the description below. See you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.